Hello everyone, my name is Julia with Dole's RT Boutique and welcome to the mini devotional series. Uh, today we're going to be covering the devotional called I Am Starry. And these devotionals are also found in written form on my blog available uh, online at www.julesrtboutique.com. So I had a, a rather strange experience the other day. I decided to go to the grocery store and as I parked in the parking lot and started to get out of my car, I started to feel a little dizzy. I was like, oh, I, I don't feel so great. And I felt a little weak and so I just started to pray. I was like, Lord, give me strength for today's tasks. I often have to pray that uh, prayer. Lord, give me strength. And so it was not long after I was praying for the Lord to give me strength that I, I became incredibly hungry and thirsty. I was like completely famished. And I'm at the grocery store completely famished. And of course, I'm wanting to buy everything in the store because I feel like I'm starving to death. I had eaten that day. I didn't have a really reason to be so hungry, but I was. And I was like, Lord, what in the world is going on with me? I don't know. So anyway, I don't recommend going to the grocery store when you're, when you're starving to death. But I did, and I did my grocery stock, uh, shopping. I barely finished, and I'm kind of like making my way home as fast as I can to rest. And as I walked into the door, my eyes rested upon a scripture that I had been painting uh, on, on a painting. So like the verse was on top. They just talked about how we should wait patiently on the Lord and rest in Him. And so, needless to say, I took the rest of the day off a little bit easy and the rest of the week off easy to just kind of rest in the Lord. And I kind of, as I pondered, you know, this little bizarre experience, I was like, I don't know what was going on with me. <laughs> I was reading through John 6 and I was reminded that although I was at the grocery store and I, I felt physically very hungry and very thirsty, that the true source of all of my needs is Jesus. For he is the bread of life. That's what he referred to himself. And he is my daily bread. He's your daily bread as well. And that my physical body, it, it may grow weak. I get, I'm, I'm going to age, I grow weaker. But that Jesus is transforming my heart, my mind, and my soul each day. He is renewing me and restoring me for I am his child. So I went to the grocery store. I felt physically famished, but I was also reminded that as I walked through the grocery store doors, I was already holding the bread of life, which is the true source of all my needs. And that I am a truly blessed woman. And so I'm gonna read John 6, 32 through 40, which talks about Jesus being the bread of life. Jesus said to them, very truly I tell you, it is, it is not Moses who had given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never grow hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me and you still do not believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all of those he has given me, but raise them up on the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. And that's John 6, 32 through 40. It is just incredibly humbling and incredibly encouraging to think about 
what Jesus has done for us, what he did for us on the cross, and the promises that he has for us, his children, and that we have great peace in him, that, that we already hold the bread of life, that when we have been adopted as his children through faith in Jesus Christ, repentance of our sin and baptism in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that we hold the bread of life. You know, I had the privilege of this last Sunday of taking communion with a church that I attend regularly. And as you take communion, you take the cracker that represents the bread broken for us that Jesus said, take in remembrance of me. And then the juice that represents his blood spilled for us. So we take communion with, with the body of Christ to remind us of what Jesus has done for us. And what he has done for us is, is given us the bread of life. And so I just encourage you to think about that and just meditate on, on that concept. And may it bring you peace. In Jesus' name, God bless.